friends today we will see one cavity so first i am going to open the part and the part is a step file so select the stp file no it is not visible so select uh, xt file bottom plate of a bottle so this is the part you can see here right and here go to this application and come to this manufacturing and we will switch directly to manufacturing and here I am selecting mill contour because this is a 3 axis part so I am going to use 3 axis machine and you can see here the MCS is not properly so what I am going to do I am going to rearrange it so enter 45 degree as a snap and here drag this right ok and five is a clearance distance okay now again uh, this is now okay the MCS is now properly defined now come to this workpiece and here I'm going to define this workpiece this is the part and blank the blank is a bounding block and don't display okay this will come okay now one more thing I am going to do is I am going to define the geometry this cut area under this workpiece and ok here select the cutting area and the cutting area is these all tangential face including this we can cut this with the help of drill machine ok or we can use milling machine so here I am I will use a milling machine so I am not using drilling right now so but you can do if you want you can also assign drill ok so it is defined right now now come to this analysis and from analysis I am going to use this ANSYS assistance right and here I need the corners and reference plane is this one and calculate and see the result this is 12.75 this one mm radius so we can assign and here the deep blue 9 mm radius so 18 is a hole right accept this go to blend and again calculate close this and see this again and here we have 4 4 dia 1.5 dia the green this one this is 3 mm radius and this green is 1.5 it means 3 mm green if you want to cut it we need 3 mm tool and for this this is red and for red it is 15 so no problem it will easily it will manage and this blue one is 4 8 will be the dia right and uh, here it is not possible and click ok although we have checked but here I want to check it again so come to this radius and come to this no it is not visible so come to this measure and from measure object and pick your 3 is a radius so I will use for this area 6 mm tool ok now click ok so first I am going to define tool come to home here and create tool so first I am using D 50 R 6 ok this is the first tool 50 and length I am using 250 radius will be 6 a tool number 1 ok now again create tool second tool I need 16 mm ball mill I am using 16 D 16 and enable D 16 yeah and mill 16 16 is a da right and uh, length and ok tool number 2 right 
and if you need you can also add the holder click here browse click here and this will be the holder okay okay second tool is defined now I need one more small tool so this time I am using animal 12 12 okay 3 tool number 3 and holder okay now next tool animal 6 okay six and no I'm not using this one just cancel it let's do with this and later we will define rest of the tool now come to this operation and my first operation is this roughing operation so I am using D 50 RGH roughing operation this will be the folder this is the tool and this is the mill area mill area or cancel it I am going to define one more thing from here I am using rough for rough I am using 0 0.6 roughing stock ok now come to this click here I am using this method is rough right rest things we have already defined name is again change no problem we will see now come to this paraphery and here I am using constant uh, for mm I will use this 30 as a step over and depth of cut I need 0 0.5 but here I am using 1 so that it will perform a little bit faster and click here and use this depth rest is same come to geometry and from geometry it is already defined right the cutting area is already defined and come to this part so the part is 0 0.6 and 0 0.2 for floor and uh, cut level it is already ok no need to define resting just generate some area small to engage so that is ignore now this is the rough and right click here and rename it so this is D 50 RGH roughing operation ok and click here to display IPW no it is not properly visible next operation if you perform after that this will show you click here ok the next operation I am using rest mill so click here rest mill and for rest milling I am using 16 mm tool and again same and this is D16 rest ok area is already selected here I am using follow paraphery step over tool is 16 so step rest will 5 0 0.5 depth first geometry is defined and for bottom I am using 0 0.2 and rest things are same common no problem just generate okay this is again generate and uh, if it is not properly you can come to this and use this follow part and this will generate here it is off so I am going to show this this non cutting move 
click OK right if you will switch off on this so non cutting move will also visible now OK this is rest mill and if you will click it we will find IPW click here okay this is the IPW after this roughing this is the rest mill again I want to do one more rest so uh, just click here and copy this one and paste inside this and right click here rename now this time I am using 12 mm tool double click here and change this to 12 rest option I want to keep the same generate this again generate now ok and ok this and let's see the IPW and see this is the IPW of this we click here select all three and now verify click this for 3d dynamic I'm going to show you the result just wait now this is the after rest milling so click it because it will take so much time to compute this now I want to apply one rest mill for rest mill uh, for semi finish for semi finish <coughs> I'm going to use create one more tool and this time this is D 10 10 ok and click here again I want this rest milling and this time D10 is my tool roughing ok area is already selected now change this cut pattern to follow periphery and 10 so I am using 6 and 0 0.5 rest option 6 come to this geometry and use 0 0.1 right and generate now ok and ok so this is the tool path now right click rename 10 d10 and rest or you can say semi finish now I need a tool for finishing so I am using 10 ball mill 10 ball mill tool ok and come to this and select this Z level profile steep and ball mill 10 is a tool and this will finish ok and here click this constant and the cut depth of cut is 0 0.25 or 0 0.15 right and keep this none and come to this geometry it is finished and from strategy cut between level so steep or non steep both area it will cut and make this direct on part and mix direction right now generate <coughs> now after this finish I will use one reference tool for the corner area 
so again create a tool so minimum radius is 3 so click here and I am going to use 5.8 tool ok and click here select this and my working tool is 5.8 finish ok and select this and click here 0 0.15 and from strategy use cut between direct on part mix and reference tool so my reference tool is the previous tool which is 10 the material which is not cut by the 10 mm ball mill now this 5.6 will remove that material generate 